from Mummy Dad of Science Time. And today, we are going to be using this cool bath bomb kit to make awesome bath bombs in a super fun way. Hi, I'm Fizzy. These are the instructions that we're going to use to make this. Okay. You're going to need water, measuring spoons, a bowl, and this kit. What's in the kit, Hiba? Well, there's like bath bomb mix, colors, body glitter, which is going to be super fun to add, and there's also essential oil, bath bomb mold, and baking soda. Cool. And what does the bath bomb mix have? The bath bomb mix has Z maize or cornstarch, citric acid, and magnesium sulfate. Cool. So basically, you can make this at home with cornstarch, baking soda, and some essential oils. Mm hmm Yay! First, we're going to need to... Okay, everybody try to find a tablespoon. Or something close to that. Also try to find your teaspoon or something close to that. Anything close works. Let's open the plastic. The body glitter and the mica patterns have um, come off. That's funny, right? Here we go. There's pink mica powder, purple, and white body glitter. Cool. So we can have a pink and purple bath bomb. Uh huh. You can make multicolor. It says here multicolor bath bombs or singular color or one color. Bath bomb mold. Bath bomb mix. Ooh, baking soda. This, this part looks so pretty. This one too. Then, raspberry essential oil. I wonder if it smells like raspberry. Should I smell it? It should smell like raspberry. I'm gonna open it and smell. That does smell like raspberry, sort of. Everybody get out their baking soda. Nobody needs to be exact. Just need about two tablespoons and one teaspoon. About. One tablespoon. The baking soda looks like snow. Don't you think, guys? So that's the other teaspoon, Hiba? Yes. One teaspoon. So you had two teaspoon. Two tablespoon and one teaspoon, right guys? Two tablespoon and one teaspoon of the baking soda. Baking soda. All right. Next we need half, like just eyeball this part, half of the bath bomb mix. Okay. Just about. So if you were using your own at home, 
depends on the bath bomb that you're using to fulfill and that's what the amount that you're going to use for cornstarch should be enough there we go Let's see yep that's about enough Let's see what we need next, guys. Okay. Here we go. Let's add the raspberry essential oil. One, two. Opening the lid. So smell the raspberry. Just carefully put a few drops. That should be enough, guys. It's so watery. It looks like water. So you got the essential oils in there. Yep. And the bath bomb mix and baking soda. I love baking soda. Okay. Now we need this. What color do you think we should do? I want to do the color purple. Tell us in the comments below what color would you do? How about pink and purple both of them? I think I just want to do one for now. This is my first time making bath bombs, guys. What about you? That looks so satisfying. A little more, maybe. Look at it. It looks so satisfying, but I'm probably not gonna touch it. Now, let's mix. One point. Let's get the water. This sounds so cool, guys. Look. Don't want the fist to form. Keep pouring some water, sprinkling till that whole thing becomes solid. Remember? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, it's fizzy. Let's mix it. Quickly form the mold. Let's put it in the mold. Pack it tight, it should feel like a sand. Connected them, guys. I want to put it here now. Let me just. It's a little fizzy ball. Mm -hmm. We have to let it dry. Let's clean up. So this is how the bath bombs work. Bath bombs are made of quite simple ingredients, you know, that combine in water to make a fizzy bedtime experience. The part that makes the fizz is the same as the Alka-Seltzer or soluble aspirin tablet, which is sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. These chemicals are inert when they're dry powders, but in water, they dissolve the citric acid reacting with the sodium bicarbonate to form sodium citrate and carbon dioxide. 
That's how you get the fizzy bubbles. Ha ha ha. So while we're waiting for the mold to dry, I had some extra mixture. So we're gonna put it in the water and want to show you the fizz, the magic. It fizzes because of baking soda. Let's start. Look at that. And you can hear the fizz. Why don't you put the whole bowl in there? Mm. Let's try the whole bowl in the water. Let's see what it fizzes. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that fizz. It's reacting because of baking soda. You can hear it, Abba. Mm-hmm. You see that? It sounds like soda for some reason when yeah, you open it. Yeah, that's the fizz. When you open it, it sounds like soda. And soda has carbon dioxide too. Mm-hmm. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Got There's a little on my hands and I'm gonna feel I'm gonna see how it feels when I put it into the water. I'm gonna get some on my hands. Feels fizzy, like there's bubbles on my hands. You know how you in, how you're in the water and you, and then you're, and then like there's just tiny bubbles that appear on your skin, and you just like cup them off. It feels just like that. All right. Thank you for watching our video. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that way you can get notified when we make new videos and be the very first to watch them.